All right, last thing on this 2004 Toyota Tacoma that I noticed that kind of needs the tension is this rear differential. Now, I was greasing the drive shaft and noticed that there's some play in this pinion, as in, you know, in and out and up and down. So the pinion bearings have some significant slop in there. And, you know, 260,000 miles with hard use, pulling logs, pulling stumps, going back and forth, I think uh, it just developed some free play. Now the bearings themselves seem to be fine. There's no bad noises when the truck is driving down the road. But you can see when the wheel is turning forward and you spin the differential this way, it kind of wants to come out so the rear pinion bearing is under load. When you go in reverse, the pinion pulls in because because of the actual ring gear, you know, it's it's a bevel gear. And then the front pinion bearing is under load. But there should not be any slop in terms of up and down or in and out. So what I'm going to try to do is just tighten this pinion nut. You can see it's staked, still in the original position. And hopefully just take up some of that play in those bearings. You know, we don't want to go too tight to stress the bearings out, but just a little bit to, you know, take away that slop to make sure the bearings are seated all the time. Um, I'm going to post the link in the description to a fantastic video of a differential rebuild actually changing bearings out by the practical mechanic. That guy has awesome knowledge and skills and the right tools to actually rebuild differentials. So, but for now, he's going to take the big earthquake impact gun with a 30 millimeter socket and try to turn this nut and see if it'll tighten it, tighten it up. So, There's still play. The nut turned about I don't know 10 degrees, so we'll keep we'll keep going here. I think it's getting better. Now we're about a 90 degrees. about a quarter turn now and still feel play so we'll, we'll keep going here Alright, we're almost there. Now to do this properly, you want to have a big wrench on here and then measure the drag on those bearings. But in this case, we're just going to go by feel to remove, remove that free player. You can't really see it anymore, but you can still feel it. So we're going to go a little more. And what this is doing, there's a sleeve between the two bearings and that's getting crushed and the inner races are moving towards each other. So I'm almost happy with that. Definitely a lot less play. There's still a little bit. Maybe one more, one more hit. There we go. Nice. So now in and out, 
almost nothing and then up and down I'm gonna say leave it there because we don't want to actually load these bearings too much they've been in here for a long time and they're still good even with that slop so we just reduced the slop that's all we're going for and I think we're gonna leave it at that and this truck will uh, should last quite a quite a while longer this rear end there's nothing wrong with it just keep running it it's got the rear locker cool setup and now there's no more slop in the pinion bearings <laughs> so the owner says that uh, K&N sent him a brand new filter two days oh, yeah. after uh, yep. after he sent the picture of the old clogged one. So brand spanking new, pre-oiled. I checked the bottom rubber gasket; it's sealed nice. So kudos to K&N for standing for the up for their products. I guess right? Absolutely. Yep. And um, I told them it was ten years old. The filter is 10 years old, and you sent him a picture of how... That was horrible. That was horrible. <laughs> how plugged up it was. I well, still have the old one. Yep, yep. Well, cool. So this thing will... Uh, I, I think it will be good to go from here on out. Just a little valve cover gasket leak, but... Battery corrosion. We'll, we'll, we'll hope that the, the throttle body lasts a while, because these, these puppies are expensive. Fancy. Awesome.